Hey there, this is Ian Perry, Solutions Specialist at Candrone. Today I have the DJI Matrice 350 RTK. We're gonna do an unboxing for you, take a tour through the kit and see what we have. So with me today I have the Matrice 350 itself. I also have the TB65 Intelligent Flight Battery. This kit would also include the BS65 Battery Charging Station, which we're gonna leave for another day. I'm gonna get started opening up what we have here. So at Candrone, we're well aware of the 300 series by Matrice. We're very familiar with it. And so I'll give you my impression of this new improved 350. Right away, I can see that the case for this drone is quite a bit smaller than the 300. They've redesigned its shape a little bit. You know, the four handle configuration and four clasp configuration makes things really, really easy to transport. Uh, we ship this crate around a lot as we work all over North America. And so this is easier handling. I can see that they've put on some uh, fairly versatile rolling wheels. Uh, I do have experience with the M30T case. These are very useful, although I'm hoping they don't break when they are jammed into hard spaces. So I was also concerned that this case would be better suited to taller people because the M300 uh, did not have a very telescopic arm and as you walked along your heels would kick so obviously it can roll uh, In a level position with the additional two wheels, but I'm also curious if When it's at an angle It doesn't catch and I think as a 5'11 tall person it's going to work for me a lot better as I pull this thing through an airport or a bus station, what have you. Let's open it up and take a look. So same size drone, but fitting into a considerably smaller compartment. I can see that they have rearranged things a little bit. These legs sit at a different orientation. I can see from this label that they want you to keep the blades pointed straight as you close this. I know with the 300, they had some foam stops that you had to put on here every time. It got a little cumbersome and then you lose the foam stops. So it looks like they've done away with that and they want you just to keep these fairly straight before you close the lid. And I'm, no I'm noticing that these propeller blades, the spares, live in this case rather than behind a a zipper pouch as it did in the 300. Ah, I see, it just kind of tucks away. I like that actually, because with that zipper pouch, you never knew quite what you had in there. You had to go opening it up. With this, you can see right away that the propellers are there. I don't see any place to keep another set additionally. So just the one spare set to keep on hand probably okay. All right, well, let's lift this thing out of here and just take a look at it. Landing gear is the same, although I see that the collar on the landing uh, leg actually lines up. The red mark lines up with the red mark on the drone. I found with the 300, it, it didn't do that and it wasn't clear to first time users if the if the collar was completely locked down, that's a slight improvement as I see it. So we'll take a look at this more in a sec. I just wanna get a really good look at this crate. It seems that there are still some spaces for WB37s. So two spaces for those. Of course, they've built in the RC Plus. So we have the RC Plus controller, a lot more screen space, and I can see that there are a lot more buttons, which will be very handy. But I can see that they've got space for two of these RC Plus controllers. They've got these little spacers in here. 
I'm, I'm thinking that this is where our batteries will live. I'm just curious. I'm gonna open this up and actually figure that out right now. Okay, so opening up the TB65 Intelligent Flight Battery for the first time. Okay, that's pretty similar to TB60s, except of course this heat sink is new and the indicator lights are on the back instead of on the side. I suppose that's a little bit more convenient when you're uh, locking or unlocking the gate at the rear. You wanna see your battery levels. So it looks like they've put some space in here for the TB65. But if you take out all these uh, inserts, you can put a second RC Plus in that spot instead. So here I can see that there are two spaces for payloads and I don't know which ones fit, but I have a sense of what they are. I feel like this is for the P1. And it is, that looks good. And then I'm pretty sure this is the H20T. And it's good. Let's see what else they've included in this kit for us. So I've got a small cleaning set with this kit and I have got a spare Phillips tool, some little screws of various sizes, and then a few more of the shock absorbers for the Skyport mount. So a nice little kit of spare parts. This little Compartment has desiccates, and then we are given a Matrice 350 guide. Now let's take a look at the Matrice 350. They have incorporated a sensor so you are aware if your uh, arm collar is not locked, and it consists of this magnet configuration. Now if this is not locked tight, it will let you know on the RC controller. Now two additional transmission antennas one is at the rear of the drone here, and another is underneath this face panel, in addition to these existing ones from the previous generation. Another noticeable change is with these RTK antennas, they're a little bit different in shape, and upon close inspection, I noticed that they consist of these four screws to make this unit more accessible. I know in the past, when replacing this component, I had to take the whole motor assembly off the end of the arm to get at this. Now it seems as though you can access this independently of the rest of the motor, which should be pretty convenient if swapping out RTK antennas. Otherwise, I'm not seeing too many differences between this drone and its predecessor, the Matrice 300 RTK, but I am very, very excited to get out into the field and put this through the tests, uh, particularly in the heat of summer with this battery and the BS65 battery charging station, which has some cooling capabilities to get these things charging quicker. So be sure to tune in to the next video for the field test of this M350 by DJI. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content. And if you have questions about this or any other items, feel free to reach out to us. We're always happy to help.